on a Thank big you. win. This was a dominant win as well. Uh, so much so that you got a 30-25 on one of the scorecards. How does it feel to have such a just crushing victory like that? I mean, uh, I say it humbly, respectfully, but uh, I mean that's how that's how I fight. You know, I I win and uh, my pressure, my ground and pound, uh, my striking. Uh, that's that's how I train. That's how my training goes, and my partners push me at American Top Team, and you know that's the result of uh, the team's work, and that's what I do. You really smothered him with punches, and it looked like a finish was close, but he didn't yeah. quite get it. Did you think you were going to be able to put him away? I thought I was uh, second round. I was uh, I thought I was going to uh, finish him, uh, but I, right as soon as I thought I would get him, he kind of scrambled away a little bit. Uh, when I had his when I had mount, I thought I was going to finish there, and. Uh, he turtled and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to finish him, but uh, 10 seconds left and I was like, you know, just save it for the next round and I rocked him again in the third round and uh, I was being patient and I go for the kill, but then he shot and I ended up on top again. How tough was your opponent who obviously took the fight on that two weeks notice? What about it? How tough was your opponent who obviously took the fight on two uh, weeks notice? I mean, he's a tough guy, but everybody in the UFC is tough. Uh, he's no tougher than my last opponent and I'm sure he's not going to be any tougher than my next one. Uh, it's the UFC, they have the best guys and... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what you got to do to get in the UFC. You got to be ready. It's part of the job. You got to stay ready. You got to make way and, you know, no excuses. Yeah, after performance like that, and again, a totally dominating one, what do you want next? Uh, you want to get in there as quickly as possible, or do you want to take a little bit of time and, and enjoy the win? I'm enjoying the win right now, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to get back to, you know, take a, I'm going to go see my family, then get back to training, you know, keep climbing the ladder. Whatever is next in store for me, I'll be ready. I'm ready right now. Uh, I'm going to keep climbing the ladder, you know, take them out one by one. You definitely had quite a couple of fans there. I'm pretty sure I heard someone once screaming, buzz now, buzz now. Yeah, yeah. Did he hear about it and did it affect Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I mean, uh, I knew there was going to be a lot of Bosnians leading up to the fight. You know, I was getting tons and tons of, uh, you know, Facebook messages uh, from everybody. I mean, it was just crazy. I had my, you know, I had my cousin, you know, handle some of the messages because there were so many. And uh, <laughs> I had some people show up to the hotel and uh, I saw some flags at the weigh-ins and, on the way out, walking out, you know, I heard Bosnians and uh, flags, and somebody threw me a flag after the after the, after the fight, and yeah, it was a lot. It was it was fun, man. Uh, I'm gonna keep, you know, we're here, and uh, yeah, Bosnia is gonna grow. With the expansion of the UFC in Europe, man, uh, only a matter of time, perhaps, before you get to fight in your home country, and how, how cool would that be? It's gonna be awesome, man. Uh, Europeans, Europe has the best fans, you know, uh, the soccer fans, you know, they got the best fans, and. Uh, you know, we're going to be filling up stadiums, more, a lot more stadiums, and uh, I'm going to be bringing the crowd. Were you because annoyed that your opponent missed by three pounds? Uh, honestly, uh, you know, I was worried, like, the whole week after the fight, I was just like, oh, man, I hope he doesn't, like, faint and cut in the way, and then the fight's going to be canceled, you know, like, kind of what happened to Burrow. So I just had my fingers crossed that that wasn't going to happen, you know, like, day of the fight or something like that. Uh, I was expecting him to miss weight. I just had an intuition about it, and it doesn't matter. You know, I'm, I train with guys, 155ers. I train with George Mosvidal, my best friend, uh, Will Brooks. and So it doesn't matter to me. You know, I train with 170-pound guys, and I do well, and I hold my own. How did you Last know your grappling will be more effective than his because he has more? How did weights. I know that? Yeah. Uh, I train with the best team in the world. Uh, you know, Mike Brown has some of the best uh, jiu-jitsu, underrated jiu-jitsu in the game, and uh, he's my, one of my top coaches. And I just train with the best in the world, so uh, I think my jiu-jitsu is really, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't haven't seen my jiu-jitsu or my kicks, you know, I, I wanted to open up more with kicks, but uh, I really wanted to let my boxing go, and, and I heard him a couple times, but he was shooting right away, and I took it, you know, I, you know, I just go with the flow, and, uh, you know, it's, at the end of the day, I got to win, and that's what I do. Thank you. Congratulations.